First tonight, a local sheriff is calling on Congress saying enough is enough. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson is spearheading an effort on behalf of the National Sheriff's Association, hoping to push Congress to take action on securing America's border. But this is not the first time he found himself in the middle of an immigration debate. Iowa to Sue's reporter Caroline Goggin sat down with him tonight. She joins us now live in studio with more new tonight. Caroline. Mike and Shannon, Sheriff Hodgson says he's decided to rally support from sheriffs nationwide due to a stall in legislation that would address illegal immigration and border control. But his views aren't shared by all. You know, I look at the march that just happened this weekend and I and I, I do liken it to what we're trying to do as sheriffs across this country, and that is to bring back the voice of the people. It's the message of a letter sent to Congress on Friday, signed by 380 sheriffs, spearheaded by one you may recognize. Those of us in law enforcement who have our boots on the ground, those ranchers and the people that live near the border, those are the people that understand how serious the threat is and what we need to do to stop it. In the letter, sheriffs nationwide plead with Washington to secure borders through enforcing immigration laws, tightening security, and supporting replacements and upgrades to current barriers. Last year, we told you Sheriff Hodgson said he was willing to send his inmates to help build President Trump's border wall. That exact idea wasn't mentioned in this latest letter, but the sheriff said it's still very much a goal. I'm sure there are sheriffs around the country that would be more than happy to send uh, inmates to, to build that wall if they thought it would save the taxpayers money. The sheriff tells us he will continue his push to send Massachusetts inmates to build the border wall, and that's exactly what one local organization is afraid of. It's a bad sign when we're in a time in our politics where public servants feel that it's okay to offer free labor and also conscript unwillingly human beings to do something that is considered both a folly but also destructive to international relations and just basic humanity. Now, the sheriff says he's met with President Trump twice in the past year, and he's optimistic about possible immigration reform. He says it's now up to his fellow sheriffs to make similar pushes in their communities. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.